Hi everybody. Um, thank you for coming by. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I actually have not done a video since July of 2023. Um, I have become a sublimation addict and have been so busy creating merchandise for um, about four um, companies now, businesses now, and it's just been keeping me really busy. Um, I love the technique. We'll talk about that another time. For this one, I was on Facebook and um, the question in the silhouette for beginners was from a woman who used Cricut Design Space. She asked if she could use her images in the silhouette software. Now, up to this point, I would say no, to my knowledge. Now, what was explained to me by my son was there's an encrypting process in the silhouette software. So the images are not a PNG, SVG, JPEG, anything like that. So you can't use them in Canva or um, Affinity or Silhouette until now. I don't think anybody else has done this. I looked through YouTube real quick before I started this video. So <sighs> deep breath, here we go. Click on images and I'm doing wine bags for a boutique I'm gonna be doing in December. And I liked this image here. Add it to the canvas. I'm not concerned about the size right now because I have to resize it in the Silhouette software anyway. On Windows, in Windows, you have a feature called the Snippet Tools. And in order to access that, you'll click all at the same time, not the same time, but you have to hold all the shift, the keys down when you do the Window key, the Shift key, and the S key. That turns your Snippet Tool on. Now this works for anything. If you want to turn a document into a picture or anything like that, you need to use the SIP Snippet Tool. It's going to put it in your downloads. It's your pictures screenshots, not your downloads, sorry. Back up there, erase what I just said. So it's right there. Let's go into our Silhouette software. Um, I have this set up for eight and a half by 11 because I'm gonna be um, printing it out. Um, I don't have my Cameo set up, so I'm not going to officially cut it. Um, I can print it out and, and cut it on my own, but let's just pretend my Cameo is set up. File, Merge. Click on the PNG. I'm going to hover over that so you can see it pops up as PNG. I'm going to say OK. Let's go ahead and size that. Now the Cricut Wine Bags, um, I went ahead and I decided to go do this at 4 by 9.5. Oops, not four. Forty. Okay, and by nine and a half. Now we need to get rid of those grid lines. And how to do that is to go into this little icon. Um, it's the open trace panel. I don't know what you would call that. Is that a butterfly? Eh, doesn't matter. Select trace area. I'm going to make sure that I highlight all over that grid line and the letters as well. Come over to trace and detach and that grid line goes away. Now, I was concerned about inside the letters, the grid line was still there. I thought, gosh, I wonder if that's going to heat press. Um, good news is it doesn't. So after we're done here, I'll show you how it turned out. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to group this. Because if we move it around or you know anything like that, it's going to go all over the place. Now, I'm going to send it to show where how it would cut right now. I don't want it to cut all these lines. So let's go back to design and we're going to create a square. Oops. Square. There we go. So a little cross there. I'm going to highlight all of that. Doesn't really matter what size. And I am going to go close that. And there we go. Now we need to attach this. So, you know what, let's, not, let's see what it looks like without grouping it together. Okay, let's go ahead and click Edge. You're just going to click the square there, but we do need to flip it. So let's go back to Design. design. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and group this for now, just so we can flip it. Um, I don't know what this little picture is here, but this is the Replicate panel. We're going to flip it, and we're going to move this one off. Put this one on and I'm going to ungroup it again because it's going to think it wants to cut all those letters. All right, let's go back to send. There you go. So it's going to print and then cut just around these lines. 
I hope this is helpful. I hope I didn't go too fast, but if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, so I went ahead and printed this and cut it manually, and he pressed it wrong <laughs> on my wine bag, but I want to show you what it looks like. Let's go on over to my craft. Okay, so like I said, uh, I didn't put it in the heat press like I should have, <laughs> so it didn't press this, and I definitely didn't press it long enough. Um, I already threw away the design, but let's this up. That's kind of tacky, right? Okay, so as I said, it's going to print out the grid lines, but it doesn't press them. I am so happy because I hope that I solved a lot of issues for um, the people who use both the Cricut and the Silhouette. They like the Cricut designs, but they like the Silhouette software. Or like I said earlier, um, you can expand your print and cut image. Um, you can do it if you have Windows. Again, uh, I don't know if you can do it on Mac. Please, please share it with us if you can, if you have a, a snippet feature. Um, and I think we have solved a huge issue. Thanks, everybody. I know it's been a long time. Things are going great. Um, thanks for joining me, and thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Have a great day.